Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the pixellab.net and welcome to 2012. This is the first tutorial of the new year. I want to wish you guys all a very happy new year. I hope this year is awesome for everybody. And uh, you know what? Let's skip all the sentimentalities and jump right in here. So let me show you a scenario that happens to me once in a while. I'll open up Cinema 4D, go ahead and start modeling something, go ahead and start roughing out uh, my animation even. Maybe I'll throw in a camera. Maybe I'll even keyframe it, right? So let's say that we have a keyframe right here. Kind of uh, do a little bit of uh, animation. And uh, we're kind of getting things set, right? But then all of a sudden we realize, oh crap, we are still in 800 by 600, the default settings when you open up Cinema 40. So then we go into here and we change our resolution. So let's say that we're working in 1280 by 720 and you'll see that it jumped, right? That's because the camera is now set to a different length, a different focal length, uh, different um, aspect ratio, whatever you're changing. Um, so then all of a sudden, everything that you've done in here, you kind of have to redo. You might have to redo your camera animation, all that business. So obviously, it's always good to go in here and change all these settings before you get started to your final output. So let me show you a way that you can change the layout for your setup and all of your render settings. It's a little bit different than you think it would be. You don't go ahead and go to Window and Customization and save uh, your layout, right? What you have to do is go into Edit and into Preferences. And once you're in your preferences, there's this little tab under here called Open Preferences Folder. And we'll go ahead and click on that. And it opens up a folder. And uh, this is where you need to save this file. So inside this folder, right in this root here. So let's go ahead and check out where this is. For, uh, for a Mac, it's under my Jordan Condell. Uh, it's under Library, Preferences, Maxon, and then the, the latest version that you have. All right, so let's go ahead and... Um, close this out. Now what you need to do, let's go ahead and delete everything because we want this to be empty. Let's change our settings to 1280 by 720. Let's go ahead and let me just show you. Let's turn on our alpha channel. That comes off by default. Turn that on. Go to our anti-aliasing. Make sure that's at best. For me, I'd like um, the sides to be a little bit easier to see where it's not going to be rendering. So to do that, let's go to our options and go to configure. And then under configure, let's go to view and let's crank up the opacity on that border. Uh, that's just a personal preference I have. All right, so then what we need to do is go file, save as, and now this is important, this needs to be saved new.c4d with, uh, I don't know if it lowercase matters, but uh, new.c4d. And now we need to navigate to that preferences folder. So Jordan Condell, if you remember, and then uh, let's see here, library and then preferences, hit M for Maxon, and then we'll go into that uh, R13 release. And right in here, if we save it, new.c4d. Now we can go ahead and close out of cinema, and we'll restart it. You like my background? Make new things, tell amazing stories. Boom, that's what it's all about. All right, so if we open up cinema, now you'll notice that we have our tinted sides here, like we changed it. If we go into here, it's 1280 by 720. I have my alpha channel on, my anti-aliasing set to best. Boom, there you go. So now every time I start up cinema, my preferences are gonna be set up and I won't have to go and do that. Just won't have to worry about it. So I definitely encourage you to, to pick the settings that you generally use and uh, go ahead and make any modifications to your layout. Save that as new.c4d in your preferences, and uh, that should save you a bunch of time. So I hope that is helpful to you. I hope you guys have an awesome new year. Thanks for checking out the site, and we'll talk again really soon. Bye, everybody.